KUSI's Dan Plant joins us live from Mavericks Beach Club in Pacific Beach, and he's got more for us on all of this. Dan? Well, it certainly got everybody's attention when Lyft said they were going to pull the plug tonight at midnight. Everybody went scrambling. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? We all rely on Uber and Lyft for our lives these days. As we know, it is a big, big thing. Uh, but right now, here's the deal. Uh, in five days from now, August 25th, both of those companies have to file a letter of intent saying they're coming up with the plan. Then on September 4th, they have to file some kind of a plan and within 30 days actually put that plan into place. Whether all that stuff's gonna happen, we don't know because there is a big ballot measure coming up on, in November, November 3rd, which is called Prop 22 and Uber and Lyft are putting a lot of money into that. We'll talk about that a little more in a second, but check this out. We got reaction from drivers and riders about what's happening out here. Not so long ago, the names of Uber and Lyft were not even a part of anyone's vocabulary. Today, we not only know their names, they have become a big part of everyday life with an app on almost every phone. I don't know if you know, but I don't know the taxi number anymore, so <laughs> you try to call a taxi yourself uh, and see what happens. Um see how much that's going to cost you too. It happened almost overnight. The classic yellow taxi was replaced by the family car with a sticker in the back. Ride sharing was born and grew into a giant. Most of the time that's what we use in an, an emergency, you know, when someone like, that, if let's say you need a lift and you're someone you know is not around, you know, you can call an Uber or something. Especially when you go out with your family and you're in the city and you need like to get around. With so many people now dependent on Uber and Lyft, the thought of pulling the plug in California creates a ripple effect that goes deep. The state of California says workers need to be reclassified as employees with set hours and benefits. Right now they are independent contractors who set their own schedules with no benefits. That's still a vague area because we don't know, being an employee, what does that mean as being an employee with Lyft and Uber? Um, the whole gig is being a self-independent contractor. So we're still unaware and not sure how would that be. Would it be the same payout? Would you, be, would you have the same income out of it? So that's why we're still unsure about it. And that is what the ride sharing companies need to clarify at this point. Both the courts and the legislature have ordered Uber and Lyft and others to create a traditional business model with set hours, pay and benefits. For the drivers we spoke with, that defeats the purpose of being independent. If you're an employee, then you might have a boss, you might have someone to report to, you might have a set amount of hours that you can only work at. Sure, the benefits would be nice, but on the other hand, Let's keep our flexibility, which we enjoy so much, because that's that's a huge plus of the job. You set your own hours. You can work whenever you want. Um, you can work around your actual schedule. So having a main job or not having a main job, whenever you want, you just hop in your car, turn on your app and start driving and, and vice versa. Whenever you want to turn it off, you turn it off. Even though a variety of industries have been exempt from AB5 and the court's ruling, ride sharing is the big one that did not. As a result, the ride sharing companies are fighting back with something called Prop 22. It'll be on this November's ballot and it will exempt the ride sharing companies just as the other companies were. What Prop 22 is the proposition that the platforms, the ride shares, are sending their message across for the citizens on the ballot for November. That Prop 22 is, yes, on Prop 22 will benefit us as independents, who keep us independent, keep us driving, to keep us being strong as have we been. That is not to be employees, that's what we want. That's what the majority of the drivers want. Well, I guess if you did a poll of the drivers, we did a poll today, not one, not a single one of them wanted to become a full-time employee. And basically there's a couple of criteria. Number one, uh, according to the law and the courts, number one, are you an essential ingredient to that particular company? Are you essential to that company? And obviously if you're an Uber driver, that's what the whole thing is. You're a driver, you're essential. The other question is, do you have a boss and do you answer to that boss and keep set hours? And the answer to that question, of course, is no. They don't have a boss, they're their own bosses, so they don't answer to a boss. So there's a lot of different tests in terms of what is actually an independent contractor and what is actually an employee. So again, Prop 22, that's coming up in November. That is, uh, uh, basically it would exempt the Uber and, and Lyft, and they are putting $90 million as seed money into this thing to have this thing overturned, at least for them. And then the labor unions, on the other hand, say that they are gonna fight with all the money they have. 
to keep to keep AB5 on the books. So here we go. Uh, September 4th will be a big day, though, when they file their plans. They're supposed to have a plan. And if that doesn't happen, who knows? They might pull the plug again and wait until after the election in November and see what happens then. But uh, we do know one thing, that California is the largest state in the country. Uber is in all 50 states. And what happens here is probably going to set the trend for what happens across the country. So all eyes are on California, Uber, and Lyft. And it is a big thing. It's become a part of our lives, hasn't it? OK, we're live in. Uh, PB, for some reason, it's really, really loud. And I guess we came down here because it's kind of Uber central. There's a lot of people who come down here, drink, hop in Ubers. It's a big, it's a big, I think it's the second largest Uber area next to the gas lamp is PB. So <laughs> that's why we're here, but it sure is loud. We'll throw it back to you.